Hi everyone, this is Dr. McGinnis. Uh, in this short video, I'll be walking through a review of some important material from the course syllabus, uh, as well as introducing you to a few key elements of the Canvas site for this course. Um, so please be sure uh, that you are taking notes on where to find some of this material, as it will be useful to refer back to throughout the course. Um, so this uh, brief opening section then, as you can see, uh, is structured around a review of some important elements of the syllabus. Um, this is EH 101 for the summer 2017 semester. We meet online, obviously. Uh, if you have not yet watched the welcome video elsewhere in Canvas, uh, I'm Dr. Michael McGinnis. This is my voice you can hear um, speaking clearly. My email address is showing on the screen right here. Uh, you can see the cursor circling around it. It's mlm0066 at uah.edu. Uh, you're always welcome to email me with any questions about course-related content. I usually respond fairly quickly to student emails, um, always within 24 hours, but usually within an hour or two. Um, so you can expect pretty quick email responses from me. My office is in Morton Hall, room 206A. I'm not keeping set office hours this semester, but um, um, I do plan to be available by appointment. Um, so if you ever do need to meet with me to talk about course-related uh, material, please feel free to email me and set up an appointment. Uh, please note, and I'll talk a little bit more about this later on, in this video you will be expected to meet with me at least one point uh, during the semester to talk about your work in this course. I'll be giving you guys some more information about that sometime after the first project is completed. Uh, and once we begin talking about that in more detail, you can choose to either meet with me here in my office on, main, on the main campus, uh, or we can make plans to meet electronically, either via Skype, Google Hangouts, or one of those uh, services. So let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, you can see on the screen now a course description for EH 101. I'm not going to read through this in detail. This is the same course description uh, that you can read elsewhere in Canvas as well as on the uh, course syllabus, which you can download from Canvas. I'll be giving you a tour of some of those places to find them. Um, but just you know, very quickly to you know, summarize what this information is, it talks about the kind of theoretical grounding of this course in the study of rhetoric. Um, <coughs> some of the major goals for this course. Uh, you can see described down here, a better understanding of your own writing processes, increased confidence in your ability to make sense of and write within a greater range of common academic writing contexts. As described in this paragraph, this is the first time this course has been offered online by the UAH Department of English. So it's entirely possible that we'll hit some bumps in the road, maybe you know some scheduling questions or, or uh, you know problems you know using Canvas. Um, I do ask, obviously, in those instances as they arise, that um, that you be patient, both with me and with your fellow writers, as we figure out exactly how to make this course work in this setting. Um, I have taught online before a few different times. This is the first time using Canvas and the first time at UAH. So there may be a few things that you know we need to kind of figure out together, in which case I'd appreciate any help that you can give me, and I you know pledge any help that I can give you. So um, once again, um, I won't be reading through this screen in detail, <clears throat> but I do want to make sure that uh, we at least have a chance uh, quickly to look at the learning outcomes for this course. These are the kinds of goals that you should be able to fulfill by the end of this course. You can see they're clustered around four major content areas, rhetorical knowledge, critical reading and thinking, processes, and conventions. Um, so we'll be talking about uh, or seeing maybe more accurately how these learning outcomes um, are played out in each of the major assignments and all of the work that we do in this course is building towards these learning outcomes. Um, so you please take a moment. Uh, you might opt to you know, pause this uh, part of the video if you want to read through these in more detail. <coughs> in more detail. Um, but you can see uh, what the major goals of this course are going to be as we work together this semester. There is a required textbook for this course. It's the UAH First Year Composition Guide, edited by Alana Frost and Heather Cross. They're both uh, faculty members here in the Department of English. This textbook is available at the campus bookstore um, over in uh, <laughs> Charger Union. Um, there are also a 
small number of outside readings that I will be providing to you either as PDFs or as uh, just links to where those readings are accessible online. But you do need to make sure that you purchase this text shown on screen right here, the First Year Composition Guide. This is the textbook not just for EH 101, but also for EH 102. Um, so more than likely you will be able to use this text again um, past this semester. I want to talk briefly about some course policies here. Um, up at the top, participation, as you can see. Uh, I will not be taking attendance uh, on a you know, daily basis. Uh, because this is an online course, I anticipate that many of you will be kind of in and out of the course um, uh, as, your, as your own time, as your schedule allows. Um, so I don't see much point in you know, specifically taking attendance. However, please note, uh, as you see on screen, students are expected to participate often, regularly, and substantively in all course activities, including major writing projects, peer reviews, discussion boards, quizzes, and other activities. You will very quickly fall behind in this course if you don't keep up with these various projects, assignments, quizzes, etc. Um, at the start of each week, I'll be sending out a course overview, an announcement containing the course overview, um, so you can see exactly what work is required and by which deadlines. So please make sure that you keep accurate note of when various projects and assignments are due, um, especially because, as you see in the next paragraph here under late work, um, all assignments and projects are due on the days specified in the course calendar. Um, almost all of our major projects are going to be due by midnight on the dates specified in the course schedule. Um, I, don't, uh, I typically don't accept late work without prior arrangement. So if you do know of some reason why you won't be able to get a project in as originally scheduled, please make sure you contact me about that as early as possible so we can make some kind of alternative arrangement. Uh, finally, a couple of things under grading and grade changes. Um, I'm trying out a new 24-hour rule this semester. You can see here this rule dictates that at least 24 hours must pass before you can discuss a graded project with me. Um, so if you get back, you know, say a major project you know, um, or an essay or a quiz, whatever, and you have questions about the score, I do ask that you wait at least 24 hours after that feedback has been released to you so that you have time to review that feedback, you have time to uh, you know, read the feedback in detail, maybe reread re your own work to try to understand what my concerns were before you come uh, and talk to me about that project. I'm happy to discuss that, though, you know, I'm happy to discuss feedback with you, but I would like you to take some time to carefully read and think about that feedback before you begin posing questions. Somewhat similarly, uh, under that, you can see final grades are non-negotiable. Uh, this doesn't mean that I never issue grade changes. It just means that you are expected to provide any evidence necessary to show that a grade change is merited, uh, by which I mean basically human error. If I've calculated your score wrong um, or if you, know, you turn in a project late, again, you know, with previous uh, with previous approval, right, and I need to make those kinds of grade changes, that's what I'm talking about here. Um, what I mean when I say final grades are non-negotiable, I mean that I'm not going to change your grade just because um, your scholarship demands it or you'll be put on academic probation if you don't get a higher score. Um, there's plenty of time, as you see here during the semester, to see how your grade is doing and to put effort into improving your score. Um, so if you are concerned about your grades, please feel free to contact me via email, make an appointment for office time, uh, and we can talk about ways to improve your score during the semester rather than artificially changing your grade after the fact. A couple of notes here about cheating and plagiarism. Uh, cheating, you can see, is the act of submitting papers written by another person as your own. Plagiarism is the act of copying work in whole or in part from books, articles, other, uh, other sources without citing and documenting the source. The easiest way to fail this course is to submit work that you've cheated on or that you've plagiarized. You will earn either a failing grade for the assignment in question or for the course. If I can accurately document that you've either cheated or plagiarized uh, any of the work in this course. Um, so if you are interested in failing this course, um, that's what I would recommend, right, is submit work that you've plagiarized. Um, I assume, however, 
that no one wants to fail this course. Uh, so if you're not certain how to cite a source, if you're not certain what kinds of work you have to document, my general advice to students is always to cite as much as possible. Even if, even if the citation looks terrible, right? I'm more than happy to work with you guys to improve your citation style, to improve your ability to document sources. It's much easier to do that for both me and for you uh, than it is to make up a failing score on an assignment or to make up a failing grade for the course. Uh, so that's what I mean here, right, when I have this zero tolerance uh, policy logo. I do not tolerate these behaviors, um, and I expect uh, that you will cite any uh, outside source that you use. Again, if the citation looks terrible, we can revise. That's part of the writing process anyway. Um, so on this next screen, uh, a kind of quick overview of the work that we'll be doing throughout this semester. Uh, you can see we have four major writing, uh, writing projects described up here. Um, uh, for projects two through four, you'll be submitting working drafts and revised drafts of those assignments. Beyond that, we will be doing peer review workshops for all four of our major projects. Uh, we will be having a series of quizzes ranging from, from 5 to 15 points each. We'll be having weekly discussion board uh, <coughs> conversations. And I will ask you to meet with me at least once in conference at some point uh, this semester, sometime after the first assignment comes back to you. Uh, these conferences can be conducted either IRL in real life in my office on the UAH campus, or we can do them electronically via Skype or Google Hangouts. I will give you guys more information about how to set those conferences up a little bit later in the semester. So I'll be opening up a discussion forum shortly um, to show uh, for you guys to post any course-related questions. Um, but as you can see here, the full syllabus for this course, including all of the material that you've seen in this part of the presentation, is available for download from the course Canvas site. Uh, and now we're going to continue this video by moving over to Canvas, and I'll give you guys a quick tour of what you can find on our Canvas site and what kinds of places you should plan to visit regularly. So I'm going to click over to Canvas here, um, and you can see uh, as this little button, this little bar down here suggests um, this is a student view. So this kind of simulates the view that you guys would have of Canvas once you uh, have logged into the course. Um, if you're watching this video, clearly you've already um, had some exposure to, to Canvas, um, but I just want to give you a tour of some of the key places that you'll want to be able to locate. So this is the home page for our course. You can see the title of the course, the course name. Uh, this is me. Uh, this is what I look like. I'm a bit hairier now. I'm letting my beard grow out, etc. So some contact information, course description, uh, some discussion on how to get started with the course. So you can see here on the home page, there's links to uh, every module in this course. They're organized around each week. Um, so past these first two, which are kind of getting started with Canvas and getting started with online learning, there's modules for week one, week two, week three, et cetera. Um, there's also links here to the announcement board, which hasn't been populated yet. Uh, you, you, uh, you can access your grades here. You can access the course syllabus and schedule here. There's some information on the home page here about other resources about how to use Canvas um, and how to make use of the facilities available to you here at UAH. Here's some description on uh, some troubleshooting if you have problems with Canvas technology. So there's a number of different things that you can use on the course homepage. Most of the, na the navigation for this course, though, is going to take place from the navigation bar over here on the left-hand side of the screen. You can see there's links to various elements here. Beyond the home page, you're probably going to make most use of this link here, modules uh, and grades. Um, you'll find links to all of the assignments, quizzes, and discussions under modules anyway, but you can access assignments, uh, quizzes, and discussions uh, directly through those links, although I won't be covering them in more detail in this video. As you get started with the course, if you haven't done so already, I would ask you to visit this syllabus page here where you can download a copy of the course syllabus and the course schedule. Obviously, you'll be seeing all of the relevant due dates and deadlines in Canvas uh, as we progress through the semester, um, but it would be very useful, I think, especially to have a copy of this schedule um, as we move through the course. Below that, you can see the course summary, which lists uh, deadlines for all of our assignments. 
I haven't put up information about all of these assignments yet. That will be forthcoming. Um, but most of the material that you'll need at least through week one is already present. The other page that you'll be spending a lot of time on here in the course is modules. And as I've already said, right, we'll be, net, we'll be, net, we'll be using uh, these modules to navigate most of our work. Um, and you can see right here, you only have access right now to week one. You'll be getting uh, access to other elements, <coughs> excuse me, um, as, uh, as we progress throughout the course. Um, so there are, you know, 10 modules because there's 10 weeks in the course. So um, those will each become uh, available to you as we get a little bit closer to each week. Um, but as you navigate through each week, I'll ask you to start on um, the overview for each week, uh, which will provide a description of our weekly objectives, various reading and viewing assignments. Right now we're watching video lecture number one down here, uh, as well as the major assignments for each week. Uh, for, for major assignments for each week, excuse me. Um, and then you can see here, right, how to navigate various pieces of, um, of the module for each week. So this is the first week discussion board, etc. As you follow through there, um, <laughs> right, this will take you to the quiz for week one, etc. Uh, so each week's module then can be accessed through this link here. Um, there are some other things here, like the uh, access to the files here, um, which you probably don't need to worry that much about. Again, as I'll provide, I'll, I'll be providing links to relevant files um, just through the modules for the most part. But if you ever do need to find something here, um, you can typically find it under the course documents, right? Uh, and then course documents right here. You can see the syllabus and the schedule. If you're looking for any of our readings, again, they'll be available through the modules, but you can download them from the files tab as well. So those are the major components of Canvas that I would expect you to be able to find and locate. Um, so uh, if you do have questions about how to navigate Canvas, about where to find course material, please always feel welcome to send me an email. I'm more than happy to help you guys figure out how to use the course. Uh, I'm more than happy uh, to give you guys whatever assistance you need to successfully complete this course. And again, to contact me via any, uh, to contact me with any of those questions, just feel free to use my email address here, mlm0066 at uah.edu. Thanks for listening, and you guys can expect to hear from me again in another video update very shortly.